What a fucking day, huh? I had a different video topic in mind, but uh, I think what I want to talk about instead is a little more important than what I was going to talk about. So, uh, you guys haven't heard, uh, Chester Bennington, he was the lead singer of Lincoln Park, uh, was found dead in his home. Uh, found by an employee, they said he hung himself. And uh, it's really heartbreaking. It really is, because uh, if you're about my age, maybe a little bit younger, but around my age or maybe a little bit older, uh, been listening to Lincoln Park for quite a while. I think since I was seven or eight years old was when I first heard Lincoln Park. Uh, obviously the first album, because I think, I don't think Meteora was out then. Maybe it was, I'm not sure. But um, so, um, uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's just get right down to the point. Um, so I had known about this, but um, he was struggling a lot with uh, uh, drugs and alcohol. Uh, from the reports or the news sources that I got this information from, uh, they said he was also uh, abused as a child, which is uh, very sickening to think about. It it pains me to say it, but it's even more disgusting to think about that somebody could put through a little child through all that. I mean, I mean, you do that, you're a fucking piece of shit. Excuse my language, but I mean, I don't go for that shit. That's fucked. You don't do it to a child. But um, yeah, uh, fucking Christ. He's a very good man and a very good musician. Um, I've listened, I listened to a major, quite a bit of their music. I haven't heard heard it all, but just from what I had heard growing up, uh, really helped me out through tough times. It's helped out a lot of people through tough times too. Uh, so basically, the gist of this message here is: if you are struggling, or if you know someone who is struggling, reach out for help. I'm not saying this on a personal level, but uh, I've been through the situation where, you know, somebody was uh, was struggling, and uh, the best thing to do is get them help. Don't don't just sit there and just like ah, oh, it'll pass. It doesn't. It escalates and it gets worse. So please reach out to someone, or if you need help, or if someone else needs help, don't. Don't sit there and think you can fight the battle on your own. Some battles you can, others like this with substance abuse because of the past, those you can't fight on your own. It's a losing battle if you try. So please be helpful. Please uh, don't, I, I really don't know what else to say, honestly. It's, it's a fucking day. I mean, I mean, I know Plenty of other celebrities have passed away, but uh, this one kind of hits me the most because I was a really big fan of Lincoln Park, and uh, he's helped me through tough times too with like family issues or because I can remember it if I was ever having a problem or uh, say parents weren't getting along or just just shit was out of whack. Uh, I just Throwing the earbuds and throwing some Lincoln Park it was good, but uh, yeah, it's. I mean, if you haven't heard about it, I mean, it won't be hard to find. It's all over Twitter. It's it's everywhere. It's out there. So um, uh, they said he was found by an employee. His family was gone. But uh, yeah, that's just. Oh, wow. Um. Don't take anything for granted. Please don't. You can be gone like that. So, uh, uh, if you're ever struggling, if you follow me on Twitter and you just want someone to talk to, my DMs are open. I always leave my Twitter, uh, my, uh, my uh, Twitter handle in the bio all the time. So, uh, if you ever want to chat, just hit me up. Um, if you ever want to exchange phone numbers, I'm very open to doing that too. Uh, so, uh, it, it doesn't matter what problem it is. If it's a little one, if it's a big one, you can always talk to me because uh, I personally haven't really had any major problems, but I've known people and uh, have helped people before who were struggling. I mean, just talking to, just talking to someone can
can get them out of a mood. You don't have to go through the extents of calling authorities or whatever. I mean, just talking to someone or even just saying hi, you know? I mean, it's amazing the little things that can spark someone to, uh, you know, kick themselves out of their bad mood. So uh, even if it's just a stranger, I mean, just saying hi. Just, uh, I mean, like I said, you can reach out to me. If you're struggling, reach out to someone, reach out to help. Uh, whether it be a counselor, a pastor, I don't know, whoever. Uh, don't, don't let it get any worse than it already is because once it hits a certain point, it, sometimes there's no coming back. And I hate to say that, but it's just it's the whole cold truth. Sometimes there's just a point where, you know, the point of no return. But if you can catch it early on or if you know someone who's struggling, you can catch it early on. Just help them. Don't, don't, uh, don't leave them in the dirt. Don't leave them in the dark. Bring them to the light and get them the help they need because too many people, we lose too many people from stuff like this, uh, from all the substance abuse and knowing they have a problem, but they don't want to get help. And a reason why a lot of people don't want to get help is because they feel they'll be ridiculed or they'll seem weak. No, don't, don't, don't ever get to that point. Don't ever think you're weak because you need help because I, there's stuff I need help with on a day-to-day -day basis. I can't do everything on my own. If I tried, I'd be a broken mess. But, uh, not talk about me, but, um, don't ever try to fight a battle on your own. No matter what the severity is, whether it's a little one, whether it's a big one, always get help. Because, I don't know. But that's that's the gist of the video. Get help if you need it, if someone needs it. I know I've repeated myself probably over 20 times, maybe more than that, but I can't stress this enough because I'm tired of, I'm not saying this in a bad way, I'm just, I'm just sick of always getting on like, you know, social media and whatever and just seeing someone has died <clears throat> Especially like in the music business. I mean, of course, it's bad in all in all occasions. But the reason why I say music business is because I pay more attention to that side than I do in the gaming community too. Music and gaming community. But I pay attention more to that than I do the movies. Now, if someone on that side passed away, of course it's sad. It, it's always sad when someone passes away. But, but this one, like I said, it hit me the hardest because I've been a fan of them. But, um... I believe I am done talking. I'm gonna say this again for the 22nd time. Please, if you are struggling, or if you know someone who is struggling, get help. Help them. Do not leave anybody behind. I'm dead serious. I will beat your ass if you do. I'll beat my own ass if I leave anybody behind, or even myself. But, um, yeah, so, uh, rest in peace to Chester. Um, I don't know. I mean, I'm not th I don't think this will get out to his family or anybody, but I mean, I wish them the best and they have my sympathy. I mean, yeah. See you guys later.